This video is about my updated NeoPixel LED strip project. I've uh, updated my project to get ready for Maker Fair I went to a few weeks ago. And what I did is I uh, doubled up the strip so I now have two of them. Uh, they run in parallel so it's the same pattern. And what I've did, I had these on the inside of my lapels of my sports jackets with any pattern I wanted on them so that was pretty cool. And I'm uh, going to tell you a bit about how they work in this video. The pattern on the NeoPixel strips comes from the Arduino. These are uh, just a small length of 5 LED strips NeoPixels. These are the simple 30 LEDs a meter strip. And they're powered by this Arduino Nano. I used the Nano because it has its own USB chip. So I don't have to mess around with the programmer like I have to do with the minis. And uh, the board it sits on is just, uh, it's actually just a bunch of wires. It replaces the breadboard I made this on for a slightly more uh, permanent solution. And this is all powered by one of these and that's what I like about the Nano. I can just hook up the uh, USB cable into one of these smartphone chargers. And it has the power. It's great. And uh, the pattern uh, on this is stored on the EEPROM of the Arduino and that's a non-volatile part of the Arduino memory so that means that it can be shut off and powered up again and it uh, remains, it's, the pattern remains on the Arduino so you don't have to program it every time uh, you uh, reset the power and to program the device I uh, of course don't hook it up to a power source but hook it up to the PC and I'll start the software I wrote for this there it is and uh, what you can see here is the entire pattern so these are the five uh, LED strips and this are uh, eight frames in the in the pattern so let's reset to black now I can select any of the LEDs and assign a color to them. So blue for this one, red, green, and so on and so forth. But you can also select from this uh, color rainbow. And I have these six values as the, uh, the RGB values and the intermediate values because those uh, usually are the brightest values on the LEDs. And I've added a right click functionality so you can quickly build up a pattern without having to uh, select a color every time. So now I have something like this and to program this to the Arduino I have to put it in data receive mode. And I can send the values. The data receive mode is just to make sure we don't lose any data and it's all get uh, sent to the Arduino and put away properly. If we put it now in uh, presenter mode, you can see the pattern we've just drawn. And of course I can still disconnect this and uh, hook it up to an external power source and the pattern is still there. The software is also capable of uh, loading up a bitmap image, so you can just create something in paint or whatever. And also flash that to the device, like so. And now we've got the rainbow pattern back again. You can also set the speed. You can see it's now a lot faster, and even more faster. Maybe this is not so comfortable <laughs> anymore. So you have a lot of flexibility and you can uh, draw some really interesting patterns to uh, quickly display them on your NeoPixel LED strips. Because that was exactly what I wanted, I had these interesting RGB LEDs, but you know, what do you want to show on them? So uh, I wrote some interesting uh, graphical software to draw the patterns, because it's much more fun than coding them all out by hand. Alright, thank you for watching, I hope you found it interesting.